only the best race at Sebring. And the starting field includes drivers from around the world. Scotland, Belgium, Germany, Canada, France, Switzerland, Sweden, Holland, England, Iceland, Italy, South Africa, Argentina, Mexico, New Zealand, Puerto Rico, and the United States. They're going to find out who's who and what's what. to Sunny Sebring, the 12th running of the 12 hours of endurance for sports cars, and Phil Hill's Ford-powered Cobra, hotly pursued by the Ferrari four-liter prototype of Pedro Rodriguez.
again. Cars fit for fuel, tires, repairs, and a change of drivers. with tension and frustration. Each car has a team of two drivers who spell each other over a long, grinding day. on the course. The spectators show their own confidence. play tricks on the twisting course. The battle against the clock seems never ending. The vicious pace begins to show on machines, on men, and on nerves. In international endurance racing, pit stops can be demonstrations of inspired madness. Things that have been working for hours suddenly become inoperative. Various metal parts become inexplicably red hot. And all bolts reverse their threads. The crews respond with activity that is a kind of explosion of colorful incomprehensibility. to go, all three leading prototypes make pit stops. And from now on, it looks as if all they have to do is hold on until 10 p.m. But with only minutes left of the 12-hour, the Mares Vaccarella Ferrari, number 31, hard on the heels of the Surtees three-liter, must pit for gas. The Surtees Scarpiati car is now undisputed holder of first place. Mares Vaccarella second, and the Graham Hill Ferrari now running without lights is third. The remarkable Ferrari GTO of Penske and Pabst is fourth, followed by Bordeaux and Ginther's GTOs. Behind the Ferraris are the Jaguars and the Porsche Abarth Carreras.
best American finisher is the number 12 Cobra, started by Phil Hill and now driven by Ken Miles and Lou Spencer, placing 11th. The Bolton Rothschild, number 36, led the Triumph team across the line to finish first, second, and fourth in class. In 1963, Sebring 12 Hours of Endurance saw two teams make the strongest possible showing. Ferrari taking first through sixth, and Triumph first, second, and fourth in class. <laughs>